Hi, I'm Abe Fettig. I'm the creator of Film Lab, the app for digitizing film. And I want to tell you today about some of the new features we've been working on to make scanning your film faster and more enjoyable. Most people don't find scanning film to be an enjoyable process. And if you're like me, uh, you may have a big pile of film just waiting around to be digitized. I'll actually show you, I have more than this, but this is some of it. This is some of my personal film that I've shot and had developed uh, in the last year or so, 120, 35 millimeter, all kinds of film in there. And you might have film for a couple of reasons. You might be a photographer who enjoys shooting on film and probably you really like the process of using an analog camera. You may even like the process of developing your film uh, in the dark room. But when it comes to actually scanning and digitizing our film, a lot of us don't look forward to that part of it. It's not an enjoyable experience and it takes a long time and we might not even be that happy with the results. So the goal of Film Lab is to make scanning your film faster, more enjoyable, and more satisfying. And I've been working on this app for a long time. Um, there's still lots to do. And I talk to customers all the time about uh, the features they're asking for that, that would improve their workflow or make their film scanning process more enjoyable. So I'd like to give you a demo today of a couple new things that are coming out in Film Lab. Uh, one feature that's in the new stable release that's released now, and one feature that's in a new beta release. Both these things I think are going to make scanning your film faster and more fun. So let's take a look. So here we have the previous stable version of Film Lab, version 3.2. And here's how things would work. You could go into an image, say that you wanted to process it as a color negative. Then you could rotate it, flip it, crop it to get just the part that had your picture in it. Film Lab would run some auto settings to get give you a good starting point for your exposure and color balance. And then you could um, go in here and manually make whatever adjustments you want until you were happy with the image. And then you'd go through and do that for all the photos in your roll. To make it faster, you could copy from one image and paste onto another. But if that other image had different lighting conditions or a different orientation, you'd have to go and fix that manually. Or maybe when you scanned, you had it in a slightly different position, so you'd have to go in and adjust the crop on each individual image, and that could be very time consuming. So in Film Lab 3.3, we've added some features that make this whole process much faster. Now, when I go to process my film, I can check auto crop and auto rotate. And when I hit apply, Film Lab is gonna go through, detect the orientation, detect the film area for each of my images, and give me automatic settings for all of them. And it's very fast, as you can see. So one distinction I wanna make here has to do with machine learning and AI. Of course, there's tons of talk about AI these days. We see lots of AI produced content. And if you're the kind of person who is into film photography, you probably uh, don't love seeing AI generated images. So in this new version of Film Lab, we are using machine learning, which is taking advantage of the ability of modern computers to learn to do complex tasks that they wouldn't have done in the past but we're not using generative AI. When Film Lab auto rotates your images and auto crops them, um, it's using machine learning to do something smart and save you time. But you can go into any of these images and you can see exactly what happened. The computer just picked settings for you and selected a crop area for you that give you, the human working on your photos, a good starting point to go from. You can accept the settings it gave you or you can make your own adjustments. In this case, um, this was an image taken from inside a little pod hotel room in New York City. And since I'm the photographer, I know that at the time it was actually pretty dim in there and the room had this sort of purple ambient lighting. So I can make some adjustments to make it look more like it really did. And then when I'm happy with the photo, I can uh, use those settings. But the great thing about having these automatic settings in Film Lab is that it's so much faster to go from just having negatives to having uh, a view of all my positives that I can work with. Now I can see what's on the roll, I can go through and see how my images came out, and then if I wanna spend more time editing and refining them, I can still do that. So that's Auto Crop and Auto Rotate. It's available today in Film Lab 3.3. You can download it from our website, filmlabapp.com, and try it out for yourself. Next, I'd like to show you a feature we've been working on for Film Lab 3.4. This is available today as a beta release, and it has to do with speeding up exports. So when you finish editing a roll of film, you might have 12 or 24 or 36 images, and it's time to export them. 
And if you're scanning with a modern high resolution camera, you might have images that are 40 megapixels or 60 megapixels or 100 megapixels. And if you've been using Film Lab uh, up to this point, you may have noticed that the export process was very slow. I'll give you a demo and I won't make you watch while I export an entire roll. But if I just select the first five images here and export, this is using Film Lab 3.3. I'll export as 8 bit JPEGs, which are fairly small images. And you can see it takes maybe four seconds per image. Let's try timing the next one. Here it goes. And one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five Mississippi. So maybe five seconds per image. Um, these are these are 42 megapixel Sony files. So they're large, but not even that large by uh, modern digital camera standards. So now let's take a look at Film Lab 3.4 and we'll export those same five images and watch how fast this is. One, two, three, four, five. They take about one second each and they're done. And the reason for this is that now we're doing all of our raw processing on the GPU, the graphics processor, which tends to be much faster for working with large graphic images because that's what it's designed for. So this is out today in beta form. Um, because it involves a major change to our raw processing, we want to have our customers test it on a wide range of images before we release it as a stable release. But we'd love to have you try it. If you'd be willing to test a beta, grab the FilmLab 3.4 beta from our website, filmlabapp.com, try it on your images, export them, let us know if you have any trouble, um, let us know how much faster it is for you compared to FilmLab 3.3. So those are a couple new features for FilmLab. We're trying to make the process of scanning your film faster and more enjoyable. And I think both these things help to move it in that direction. Of course, there's lots more to do and we're hearing from customers about the things that you want. So uh, please keep those suggestions coming. We have more to share about new features that are coming up and I'll be back in the next video to share those with you. You don't have to like and subscribe, but if you wanna to subscribe to the channel, you'll find out about uh, the, the next updates when we make them. Thanks for watching, have a great day.